Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you the classic and exclusive photo books by Colorland. A while ago I showed you the Lay Flat Luxury Album by Colorland and back then I promised to show you the other books in the range as well. So today I'm going to talk about the more affordable books, the classic and the exclusive from the range. If you want to find out a bit more about the company, uh, you can watch my previous review of the luxury album by following the link in the description below. Just a few words about Colorland. It's a Polish company and they are one of the biggest um, photo book providers in uh, Central Eastern Europe. They create photo books in three distinct names or categories, the classic, the exclusive and the luxury album. The luxury album is the lay flat book and these ones are all perfect bound and digital. So affordable and luxury means for them lay flat and silver halide. At the moment they only ship within Europe so if you are outside Europe you can't get these books. I also have a voucher code for you which you can use, you can see it on the screen now and it's going to give you an A4 size classic hardcover book for the price of £7. So instead of £40, you can get this book for £7, uh, obviously in a bigger size. So the deal is really good, you can get this book in the A4 size for £7 instead of £40 and it's going to expire in December. So let's have a look at these books. Both books are identical to me, the, the only difference between these two books is the cover. So you could think of this as one photo book with two different cover options. On the website they separated the book so if you buy a classic book you can't get the cover of this book and if you buy an exclusive book you can't get an image rep hardcover that you see here. But again the two books are identical, the only difference is the, the cover. Both books are perfect bound, the exclusive comes with uh, an eco leather option or with a linen fabric option in quite a few funky colors and the classic comes with a completely customizable image wrap in the glossy and the matte finish back and front and inside they are going to be exactly the same. The print quality is really good. They use um, a photo paper which is definitely an upgrade to most digital books out there on the market. It's thicker and it's glossier as well so it's going to make the colors pop uh, more and it's going to seem more vivid and the dynamic range is also going to be better. The blacks are going to look more black. Let me give you a quick peek into the books before I go into my up close shots. So the pictures in this book are from my trip to Thailand and what I want to show you in this book is that you can see all of these templates and the editor is so amazing in Colorland that I didn't actually have to do anything with these pages. I was just dragging my photos into the pre-made templates. So if you are used to Mixbook or Shutterfly, they are providing the exact same service but with a slightly better print quality and also a thicker uh, paper by default. So just a few pictures again from Thailand, Beach, uh, PP Island, there we go. And the second book was created from pictures in Las Vegas. And again, this is a template that I just picked and dragged my photos into. I didn't have to do anything at all to create this design. I'm not sure what the name of it was, but it's going to be quite obvious when you look at the previews. As you can see, the colors look really, really vivid and well balanced. A few more pages. And that's it. Uh, many of you are asking me about my setup, by the way. From now on, I'm always going to say what camera I was using. These photos were taken with an Olympus Pen EPL7 that I sold already. And these ones were taken with a Nikon D5000. I don't have any of those cameras anymore. I have a Sony Alpha 6000 now, the one that I'm using for filming. But just to put it out there, because many of you were asking me. So let me go into my upload shots now. I'm going to show you the cover, binding, print, paper, and all that jazz. And then I come back, talk to you about the price, delivery, and the pros and cons of these books. These are the boxes that the books came in. So that's the exclusive and that's the classic. As you can see, the boxes are the exact size of the book, which is always great to keep it neat and tight. And that's how it comes out. There was no film over it, just to let you know, so it was just packed in the box like this. 
which I was missing a little bit since the other book came in a sleeve, but this one, the luxury album, came in a sleeve, but these ones were just in the box. So there we go, classic and exclusive. So the classic comes in a landscape A4, a landscape A3, a square 20 by 20 and a square 30 by 30 centimeter and the portrait A4 size. The exclusive comes in the same sizes except for the A3. So let's go on to the cover. You've got four options for the cover. Well, two for the classic and two for the exclusive, but we can think of them as one book with four options. The classic comes with a glossy and a matte image rep hardcover, which means that you can have a personalized cover on the front and on the back too. And it can come in the glossy like this one and a matte option which is completely shine free. So whatever group you belong to, the glossy or the matte, you're going to have a solution for you. The glossy option, as you can see, is really shiny. I love that. And you can personalize it on the front. And on the back, you can also have a design selected from so many that are available in the editor. And there is a company logo and barcode in the bottom, which you can have removed for two pounds. And the exclusive comes with two options as well. One is an eco leather option, which is the one you see here. And there's also a fabric linen option. They both come in several colors and these are all really funky colors. So if you love um, vivid, bright colors, you're going to love these covers. Uh, as you can see, there's a window on the front, which I think is 10 by 10 centimeters. And uh, all of these books, the, the exclusive books come with a window on top. So this is not something that you can opt for. It's basically built into all the covers, whether it's a fabric or a leather cover. The texture of the leather cover, as you can see, is a nice, uh, quite densely textured eco leather. And there is no text on the front, just the picture that you can choose in the editor and nothing on the spine and nothing on the back. So this book does not have a barcode or a company logo on the back. So you don't have to pay for it to get removed. Unlike the hardcover book, it feels very, very smooth. I haven't got the fabric, but I assume um, it's just as good. As you can see, this book feels more like an everyday book with a fully personalized cover. This one looks a little bit more elegant with you know a more minimalistic approach and just one picture in the middle and no text so if you like minimalistic and elegant approaches go for the exclusive if you don't mind too much about that and you want to create a slightly cheaper book and um, put as much information onto the cover as you want then go for the um, classic let's move on to the binding both these books are perfect bound, unlike the luxury album that I showed you before. So that means that the pages are glued together at the spine and they don't uh, open completely flat. Now, as you can see, both these books start with an empty white double spread, which I absolutely love. It always adds a bit of elegance to your books when the pictures don't start right on the back of the cover and it's the exact same on the back as well. So let me start paging through. As you can see, it doesn't stay open but the binding is actually really good and sturdy. Obviously you can't open it completely flat, but you can still see fairly well into the middle. Not a lot is getting lost in the gutter. That's some of the layout again. And the um, classic book is the exact same binding, a wide double spread in the beginning and the end, and then the book starts on the right side of the second spread. That's how it looks from the top. So really nice, neat spine. There's not much to be said about this. It's a good, perfect bound book. It's going to last a long time. Let's move on to the paper options. Both of these books come with the same paper type. On the website, they say it's a Novatech 200 GSM glossy paper stock. I don't want to argue that, but to my eyes, these papers still look a little bit more like silk as opposed to high gloss. So let me show you in an up close. So when you look at this, you see a subtle sheen, but it's nowhere near as glossy as a high gloss paper would be like a photographic high gloss paper. It's completely smooth. It doesn't have any texture at all, as you can see. Very, very smooth. Um, what you need to know about this paper is that it's a lot thicker than your average silk photo paper. Most companies offer you 14A GSM for your standard photo book paper. This is 200. So it feels heavier and stronger and it's also going to last longer because of that. 
It's definitely glossier than most silk papers, but I wouldn't call it a gloss paper. I hope that makes sense. So if you like your pages to be slightly on the shinier side, then this is going to be amazing. So it's definitely uh, an upgrade premium paper to most of the digital books out there, but it's not a completely high gloss paper. Let me give you a close up here again. just so you can see the texture. The minimum page count is 28 and the maximum page count is 160 pages in these books. Let's go on to the printing. Unlike the luxury album, which was printed using a silver halide chemical method, these books are printed in a digital method. So there's going to be a difference in the print quality. They are not as amazing as the luxury album, but it's understandable. However, when comparing the print quality to other um, digital books, I think it performs really, really well. The colors look really well balanced. It's really vivid and I didn't notice any problem with saturation. Usually with digital books, sometimes you can have uh, yellows or blues, greens oversaturated and it gives you um, a strange uh, effect on the final pages. This one was really well balanced. As you can see, Obviously, you can see the digital dot structure. So when you look at the sky, you can see that it's actually made up of dots. It's not a continuous tone transition like in the luxury album. If you watched my previous review, silver halide is continuous tone. Digital is made up of small dots, so bear that in mind. But compared to other digital books, I think the print quality is excellent and they did a really, really good job. There you go. The blacks are really black as well, obviously because the the paper is actually a bit glossier than most silk papers. It's going to give you more dynamic contrast and also the blacks are going to seem deeper and colors are going to be more vivid than on a less shiny paper. Now, if you have seen my previous review of the Luxury Album, then this is going to be boring. But if you are new to Colorland, then I have to say that the editor is absolutely amazing. They have so many beautiful themes just like the ones in Mixbook and Shutterfly, and they are completely free. It was a joy to edit these books. And I just want to show you, when I created this book, I didn't do anything about the design. I was just dragging my photos into a pre-made template. And it looks absolutely great. It's funky, it looks scrapbooky. Uh, all of these things, the stamps and uh, frames and layouts, they were all in the editor, part of the template that I chose. and it was really really easy to create a very good looking book in a very very short time so so the editor is definitely a really really strong point about uh, Colorland. Okay, delivery was very very quick it was with Royal Mail and it costed six pounds. The full price of this 20 by 20 centimeter hardcover image wrap classic book was 25 pounds and the full price of the same size exclusive eco leather cover book was 33 pounds. Again, if you use the code TPGBOOK40, you can get an A4 size classic book for seven pounds instead of 40 pounds, expires in December. So what are the pros and cons of these books? I like the idea that Colorland gave names to their books. It makes it more personal and it helps customers to remember what book they chose and what were the attributes. So you don't have to always go through every single aspect of the book. This is obviously a drawback as well. You'll see why later on in the cons section. The print quality was really, really good in these books. Given the fact that they were printed on a digital printer, the colors were very well balanced. The paper that they chose for these books is definitely an upgrade to most of the standard mid-range photo book silk papers. Normally they are 150 GSM. This one is 200, so it feels a lot heavier, thicker, and it is also a bit shinier than the other photo book papers I've seen which is better with the colors and the dynamic range. If you do prefer a matte finish, then these are not books for you. The editor was absolutely amazing. I can't stress this enough. It's one of the best editors that I've ever come across. It was so easy to use, so creative, so many built-in templates, and it is completely free to use any of the built-in templates. I like the cover options that they gave, especially that the uh, image wrap comes in matte and glossy. These ones are definitely more exclusive. Uh, leather and linen is always a nice um, upgrade to, a, to an image wrap cover I love the die cut window around and finally the price range is also really really good a few things to watch out with these books uh, obviously because the books are put into names or categories 
uh, there is no options to choose from really so this book can only come with an image wrap cover and this one can only come with um, the leather and linen cover and the luxury album can only come with an image wrap matte cover. Now when you put all of these covers together you can see that there are quite a few covers to choose from but if you want to go for one book then you are stuck with the cover that is offered with that kind of book if that makes any sense. There is no offline editing at the moment so you have to do all your editing online so you need to have an internet connection. And finally for a little um, extra money it would be nice to offer a lustrous paper option as an upgrade. The paper as I said is already a really good quality paper but many people don't like a shiny finish so uh, a semi matte or a lustrous paper would be a nice addition as an upgrade for these books as well especially for the exclusive to distinguish it a little bit more from the um, classic because at the moment they just seem to be the same with a different cover. I think these are really great photo books and regarding the print quality they are definitely in the top end uh, from all the uh, digital books that I've seen so far. If you want to see more up-close images of any of these books or read more about the review, you can do that on my blog, thephotobookguru.com. Also, if you want to see more of my travel photography, follow me on Instagram, Guy Around the World. Uh, thank you for watching and as always, subscribe for more.